can't believe you've you literally just come over from Europe where you've been storming the, the, the auditoriums over there. Storming is the word, Nick. I want to tell you that we were sold out in France, never been there. We sold out in Holland, went crazy in Italy. We have just torn Europe apart. Europe is ours. We'll be back next album. <laughs> What is it, do you, I mean, a lot of bands come on the show and they, they, they talk about the great reactions they've had in Europe. There seems to be a real hardcore following of metal fans out there. Is, is that true, Ross, do you think? Yes, um, just, um, crowds really just go for metal in such a big way. And they went for Man of War. <laughs> in a bigger way. More so even at home, because obviously the band are from, from the New York area, right? Right. But, but the thing is, the music is so heavy and it's so unique and European in influence that uh, we've just always had a stronger following in Europe. Now listen, what's this thing I hear that I, I was reading the other day that you're actually now listed in the Guinness Book of Records as the official loudest band of all time? We are number one. We are the loudest. Yeah. I mean, how many decibels is the loudest band of all time? How loud is? Well, we cruise at about 135 decibels and we spike at about 160. That's actually louder than a plane taking off, isn't it, I think? At times it is. Did that inspire your, your, your new single, Blow, Blow Your Speakers? No, really, what inspired the single was the fact that uh, there are so many uh, video channels in America, unlike this one, I hasten to add, that uh, will not play heavy metal. The radio stations won't play heavy metal. And, uh, you know, the rock and roll of our parents was rock and roll, but the rock and roll of our generation is heavy metal. So why not just crank it up, blow your speakers, and uh, let's have a good time. All right, well, look, they won't play it, but we will. This is Man of War and their brand new single, Blow Your Speakers and blow your speakers and I've got with me in the studio Mr. Joey DeMeo and Ross the Boss. Do you guys like doing videos? Well, when we can do them properly, we do. That one uh, we had to set up completely outside for. It's right. an outdoor stage and all the lights were all brought in and all the PA system. It was like a real live game. So you're actually playing where you're... Yeah, we were really playing. No, we don't do anything fake. Yeah. Nothing false about Man of War. I must tell you, one of the reasons I do like that video is because it puts a smile on my face. It's got a lot of humour in it. Do you think people sometimes miss the point with Man? In the past, you've been accused of being very serious about what you do. Do you think people have missed that humor in your Yeah, music? they've missed the humor because we've always had it. We've always had a great sense of humor. I mean, you have to have a good sense of humor to continue in the record business in 1980 anyway. But the real sense of humor about the band is that we're so serious about the music and the way we play that it's actually funny to some people to see you know, grown men playing through walls of equipment that are really turned on, really loud, and just right. blowing people's heads off. I think you have to be serious, because uh, if you're not, how can your audience think you're serious? And you do have a pretty serious audience, don't you? The best audience in the world, I, the most I dedicated. A, I read about some, some rock critic in Europe somewhere criticized a band and immediately got hundreds of death threats. Is yeah, that true? It, it, it really is true. Um, in fact, I believe it was somewhere in Scandinavia, one of those magazines. Sweden. The guy took it upon himself to review the album, but he didn't really do a proper review. He just slagged the band off. And of course, our fans did not take kindly to that, and they threatened the guy's life, I mean, real bodily damage, and the guy uh, has had a change of attitude. Right. Now, you've just finished the, this clutch of dates in, in Europe, and uh, in a couple of nights, you're going to be doing, well, first of all, you're doing the Manchester Apollo in England, then you're going to be doing the London Hammersmith Odeon, and then I believe a date in Dublin. You've okay. always... In Belfast and Dublin. And, and Dublin, okay. Now, I know you've, you've, in a way, it seems to me that Man of War almost began over here because you've always been signed until recently with English record companies. Right. You've got a lot of coverage in the press. Why do you think it is that over here we've been into for so long, whereas back home it's Bon Jovi and, you know? Well, it's very simple. In England and Europe, they know true metal, and in America, they are just beginning to now. All right. Let's have a bit of true metal. One of the bands I think Joey and Russell agree probably influenced them. This is Black Sabbath and Paranoid. <laughs> Chosen by Man of War. Now, guys, we've mentioned the new album called Fighting for the World. We reviewed it on the show last week, so everybody out there knows what a stunner it is already. Uh, but it's been quite some time, almost two and a half years since Sign of the Hammer, your last album. What took so long? We've had the hard time finding the right record company. People have tried to keep us down in this business, and a lot of the fans know that, a lot of the fans don't. People tried to keep us out, but they couldn't do it. Managers, agents, record companies, but nothing could stop us because every time things look bad, we went and we found a stack of fan mail that grew every day. And our fans are out there, they've supported us, and we're back, we're stronger than ever. Nothing can stop Man of War, nothing or nobody. He said it all, really, isn't he? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We've got six of these brand new Man of War Fighting for the World albums to give away, and we're going to have a competition. The question is this. Man of War fans will find this dead easy. Anybody else switch channels. The question is, name for me, please, the title of every Man of War album released. 
no clues, just the titles of every Man of War album released. Send me that, and the first six out of the bag get one of these. All right. Listen, guys, thank you very much for coming on the show. Always a pleasure to see you. Good luck with your dates in Britain. Thank you. And don't leave it so long till the next time you come back. Well, thank you, and thanks everybody at Sky Channel because it's a true metal station, and they're not afraid to play true metal music. True. So everybody, support Sky Channel. It's the way to go. Death to false videos. This is Celtic.